What's going on there guys? Enzo here, team driver for Team Associated, and I wanted to go ahead and come at you guys with a quick unboxing video of the new Team Associated V74.D four-wheel drive buggy. Uh, this got here today, uh, this past weekend I was at the J Concepts uh, Indoor National Series at the Hoosier RC Hobbyplex in New Albany, uh, Indiana. I ran one more weekend with the B74.1 and I got home yesterday night and today it's arrived the brand new four-wheel drive kit. So let's go ahead and crack the seals on the new car and show you guys what you get. All right, so once the seals are cracked right off the rip, our new turnbuckles, the new turnbuckles are a thicker size than a new three and a half uh, diameter <clears throat> as the new turnbuckles. Uh, there also are new ball cups with the B74. The B6 had a closed uh, typical style ball cup where the B74 II went back to the rod end style captured uh, rod end similar to an 8 scale. Uh, so they went to this design instead. So that's new for the 74 II. New for the 74 II is also a low profile wing mount. They went ahead and changed the wing mount with the new car. Um, so that's also new. Also new for the 74-2 is the new part number for the front shock tower, which is 92314. This is the gold wing front tower. Uh, new for the point two are gold wing front arms, along with the molded um, plastic diff cases. Uh, the servo mount, the servo equipment, all the same as the old car. That remains the same. Let's see what else we get here. Um, the same center diff mount, all that hasn't changed. What has changed, though, are the internal diff gears or the new L LTC um, diff gears. They're a little bit finer pitch, I believe. Let the car rotate a little bit better and provide a different feedback and feel in the corners for rotation. So that's also new on the point two. I do believe that the roll center uh, hinge pins, the A, B, C, and D blocks are all the same. On the uh, new car, nothing has changed there. Um, again, new for the point two is the new uh, front arms. These are gold wing front arms. Uh, can barely see the goal angle to them, but they are new where the old car had flat arms. Uh, the rear arms are the same as the 74.1. So new for the point two is the front arms as well. Here's another big change. The new molded diff cases, if you guys can see that, this is where your front shock towers will bolt to. They've now eliminated the aluminum bulkheads that were on the point one, um, making the, the new point two a lot lighter, more flex in the transmission area and for the front and rear clip, and definitely some more added corner speed grip and steering. That's also new for the point two. Let's see what else? Rear hubs are the same, that hasn't changed. Side rails also the same along with our center flex pieces, servo brace, that hasn't changed. New for the point two is a new O-ring style battery hold down. It's a little bit hard to see on camera here with the light glare, but it's a O-ring style mount. You can see the edge of it right there. Um, that is new for the point two. So no more solid battery strap. It's now an O-ring that stretches over the battery. Let's see what else. This is the most noticeable one, 13 millimeter shocks, just like the B6.4 two wheel drive they went ahead and matched. So now they have 13 millimeter shocks across the board for all of their off-road vehicles uh, here released. So the new shocks are obviously new. We went ahead, the diffs, the diff should be the same as the old car. Uh, I do wanna say that the diff cup design did change a little bit as it looks a little bit different than the previous car. Um, but for the most part, the big change is the LTC gears that come included for the front, center, and rear diff. Um, these are our steering pieces, same as the point one. Nothing's changed there. Our body, this is the same body as the B74.1, so nothing's changed there. There is a new cut line, which is that solid line coming across. So just a little uh, mold change there. Uh, but aside from that, it is the same body. So that's cool and good to know for all the guys that have painted bodies from their old car and don't want to get a new body painted or don't want to order one. 
the point one fits with a little bit of trimming. So the same body. Um, this is a standard AE wing, as always included. Let's see what's here. Nothing changes here. Standard caster block and spindle, same as the point one. Uh, new for this car is also a new chassis. This is a new B74.2 chassis. 92315 is the new part number. Just a little bit updated. Uh, I do want to say it's a little, a tad bit narrower, uh, possibly. I could be wrong, don't quote me on that. Uh, but there is a new part number, so that's changed as well. And yeah, that is the kit. So that's everything that you get with your um, B74.2D. Um, I'll go ahead and get this built and all dialed up. And when it's ready to hit the track, we will come back with a uh, updated uh, review or initial impressions, kind of like uh, I did with my 6.4, and we'll give a little bit of a rundown on the vehicle. So, thank you again, everyone, for watching. I wanted to make this quick little video just to let everyone know what you get with the new car, kind of break it down for you, give you a little bit of a rundown on what all is included, and let you guys know what's in the box of your new B74.2. Thanks again for watching, guys. Hope everyone enjoyed this quick little clip, and we will uh, come back soon. Thanks for watching.